On this video, we're gonna take a look at this pre-taped painter's plastic, and it makes the prep time for your painting super easy. Now, if we had a even a two inch piece of tape, you can see that I would have already gone over it. So this way, I don't even have to worry about that. I just paint. What's the fastest way to paint your room? Prep time means taping off the edges and adding some sort of a protection for anything behind it, whether it's furniture, walls, windows. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I use to speed up my painting process. And that is this blue scotch pre-taped painter's plastic. Now I've used um, pre-taped painter's paper before and it worked okay. However, sometimes when there was a little spillover because of paper, it went right through. Whereas the newly designed plastic keeps the paint on the surface. It does not bleed through. And the bonus on this is that it's got clean properties. So anything that you apply this to automatically is gonna stick to that surface. Now, this also is made by 3M, so you don't have to be specifically buying the blue scotch. Either way, this is how it works. There's a little piece of tape here. There's a solid edge right here that this plastic is attached to. This tape goes out all the way to 48 inches. So you can see that it starts there and it ends here. So that gives you plenty of surface space for any spillover and accidental spill of paint. Now, you can also get a 24 inch one and it's super flexible. So unlike paper, I can very easily just wrap this around and it'll be much easier and faster than using the paper. This works great on fixtures, like light fixtures or anything like that. You can just really quickly and tightly wrap it around and you won't have to worry about painting over the paper. It is translucent, so when you place this plastic over windows, you can still see light shining through. Or you can still see surfaces in behind. This is 90 feet by 48 inches. Again, it comes 90 feet by 24 inches. And you can also get the dispenser with it that automatically allows you to cut this without using scissors. That one I ran out of, so this is the second roll that I got um, lying around, so for this one I need to use the scissors. So let's just show you how I actually apply this and how easy it is and why you should probably consider getting this if you're ever taping. It's cheap enough that anybody can do it, and if you're a contractor or painting for a living, you definitely, definitely want to invest in something like this as well as a protective paper um, when you're painting these professionally. So grab one edge, plaster it here, right, and then just move and tape as you move along. So if you do have a chance, get the ones with the dispenser that allows you to really quickly just cut it instead of you grabbing that. Now we just grab this and pull on the plastic. Floor, wall, super quick. All right, so this does produce pretty straight edges, so I can really quickly just start at the bottom here, just working my way all the way around, and then start painting. Now, if we had a even a two-inch piece of tape, you can see that I would have already gone over it. So this way, I don't even have to worry about that. I just paint and only worry about my painting. So if you dread painting slowly, then it's because you didn't prep and tape off the edges correctly. All right, so about an hour later, we applied two coats and we also added some regular masking tape at the top. Try doing it by hand, but it's just honestly faster to do it by this method. Now, if you guys are interested in this specific color, this is Sher Williams, and this is the 7610 Turkish tile Sher color formula. And then this is these are the numbers if you guys are interested. And I just wanted to show you guys how much spillover there was, and I was being careful. So let's move this out of the way. Let's see how far it got. So you can see that we got one four inches before the edge. So we're at about 40 inches. Most of the other spillovers are falling within, I'd say, two and a half feet. Up there. Yep. So definitely saved us a lot of time. Let's go and take that off and see the edge. So it's not perfect like in the videos, but at some places it is. Maybe I just didn't press it well enough. Is that it? No. But that's not something that I'm going to consider myself. But I'm just going to toss this out. There's obviously no point in me keeping this. Oh, and in case you haven't seen this, this is an excellent, excellent little gadget. You basically put your roller in here 
and then you close it and that locks it and it actually keeps the paint wet and the roller wet for like weeks. I've been using the same roller probably for a month now. Let's go and take this part off. That's nice and smooth. Oh, I hate when it tears. I lose momentum. Oh, it's more there too, I wonder why. Cheap, fast, 48 inches or 24 inches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.